Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy and this is another video tutorial for the new Boston. Now, we're going to be looking at PHP cookies. Now, you've probably heard of cookies before, um, maybe if, you, if you've looked at your browser settings, I mean, I'm sure everyone knows what cookies are. But how do we actually use them and how useful are they in everyday programming sort of on websites? Now, let me just explain quickly what a cookie is. A cookie is um, a piece of data, if you like, or a file that's stored with specific information um, and it's unique to you and the website that you are viewing. So if you view on your browser a website that set a specific cookie, when you access that website, depending on the uh, expiration time of the cookie, that piece of data will be relayed. So it will be relayed from your computer um, to the website. So this way, um, websites can store data about users or about your specific preferences on that website and it can be stored on your computer for later access. So how do we go about setting a cookie and why are they useful? Now some of the reasons that they can be useful for is just literally um, storing data that needs to be f uh, used at a later date but for a long expiration time. You might have already looked at PHP sessions but cookies are going to allow you to set a much longer expiration date. So sessions are closed as soon as your browser is closed and the connection is shut with the server. However, with cookies, we could store a, uh, a cookie for years, perhaps. So to set a cookie, we use the set cookie function. Um, and this takes a few arguments. I'm not going to go through every argument, but I'm going to go through three, three main arguments. And the three main arguments we're going to look at are first of all the name of the cookie that you're setting, then the value, and then the uh, expiration date, so the um, the time in which the cookie is going to be valid for. Now, remember when we looked at sessions, um, if you have looked at sessions, you did something similar um, to this. We, we had the name of the session here, and then the value here. Or rather, this is going to be called the key, the key and the value. Now, it, with set cookies, we just use this one function to uh, set the cookie. The name of it's here, so I could say username. Uh, here's going to be the value, so I'm going to say Alex. Now, the expiration time is a bit different. You need to think about this logically, and it's by default in seconds. So if, for example, I was to set um, a session cookie with the value of 60 here as an argument, that's going to make this cookie last for 60 seconds. And after that, it's no longer going to be valid. So we can test this. Um, I'm going to create a session cookie with a value of 5. Now, what happens when I want to... Um, we've set this in this page, so if we uh, come and refresh, that should be OK. OK, so we've set the cookie in this page. Now, what happens when we want to retrieve this value in view? Now, within 5 seconds, this would have already expired, so we're going to have to reset it in a minute. All we do is um, we, we say echo. And then what we do is we use dollar underscore cookie, so much like session, and then the uh, the name of the cookie. So this is username in this case. So username, and that's basically it. We haven't had to declare anything anywhere or set. Well, we have, but we haven't had to set anything anywhere. Um, the same that we did with sessions with session. Spell it right. With session start. So these are a lot more freely used on your page. We also don't need to kill um, a cookie. Well, we do need to kill a cookie at some point, um, but this is done in a slightly different way to sessions. So um, we're echoing cookie username. Now, at the moment, we shouldn't re receive a value because the cookie does not exist because it, the expiration time is five seconds. So if I go back to set again here, so in this page we can reset um, or refresh rather and then what we can do is before the five seconds are over we can quickly come back to view oh no maybe uh, let's just change that to 10 um, set.php so that's hopefully set the cookie and now into view.php okay and it's not working so let's uh, think why that could be Right, um, okay, so yeah, okay, so I've forgotten sort of a vital part of this, and the point is that what we do is we in fact set a timestamp here, um, and um, timestamps in PHP are basically um, um, there are an amount of seconds from a specific date. I can't remember what the date is, it's I think it's somewhere in 1990. 
um, but there is another video on that so you can go and reference to that if you want so what we would do is to e to access a timestamp originally we would use time equals uh, timestamp um, whereas uh, time now is just a variable that I've set um, oh no sorry we would do time so we'd use the time function to grab a timestamp uh, let's just have a look at that so uh, so you can see um, see what we're looking at uh, that's in set so echo that out um, okay so we have our timestamp here uh, which is a long long number now what we do is when we set a cookie we set it from the current time so we can use this function within this function here but then we add on the the amount of seconds we want for it to expire so then what can happen is we can do a check it, it will automatically do it for us but it will check against the timestamp plus 10 so it will check 10 min, 10 seconds from now um, so apologies for getting that wrong before but uh, it's just one minor thing I forgot so uh, let's test this out again so um, so we've got set.php let's refresh now the, the uh, cookie has been set we come into view.php and you can see that it's been set now um, as I'm talking to you um, the eventually the um, cookie is going to expire because the timestamp is going to be less than the current date um, so if I refresh again I think that should go yeah so now our cookie has expired so you can understand now the use of this for login systems where you say you know we, you might log your user in default by an hour but you might have a check box to say keep me logged in for you know uh, keep me logged in or something and then that would keep the user logged in for maybe a month two months you could set it up to um, sort of a period of a year if you wanted to say constantly keep them logged in um, so that's basically how cookies are useful but remember the cookies are stored on the user's computer so they're dangerous to use for things like um, sensitive data that you don't want the user to be able to change for example if you were to have a shopping cart and you had the total set in a cookie uh, you don't necessarily want this unless you're using some form of encryption or, or some other way to uh, or some database usage to store this where the user can't make the change so this is how we do it um, and that's basically uh, sessions and, or cookies in PHP